now representing the Garden State in the reigning New Jersey EMBA state champions, the Jackson Memorial High School Jaguar Band from Jackson, New Jersey. Reviewing stand, the Jackson Memorial High School Band. One of the nation's original 100 junior reserve officer training. An area high school marching band is getting ready for one capital performance. This coming week, they're headed to Washington, D.C., where they will perform for the President of the United States. Eyewitness News reporter Ken Rosado has their story from Jackson, New Jersey. They're more than a little excited for the upcoming big day. What big day, you ask? The biggest challenge for us is to get through all the security. It's even better than it was when I was here, and it was excellent back then. The Jackson Memorial High School Marching Band is the only marching band in the state of New Jersey, and one of only seven in the entire nation that will be performing at this Thursday's presidential inauguration. I know, I was like, whoa, president, okay, that's good. So the 175-member band has been practicing to get down every note. Even the sousaphone sounded fantastic. What a sousaphone! It's a tuba! While the band practiced, parents gathered in the music room to spray paint hats and to repair outfits, so the marchers looked magnificent as they meander past the prez. Wow. <laughs> playing for the president, you know, it's not every day you get to play for the president of the United States. Next up, to Washington, D.C. They'll head this Thursday, January 20th, Inauguration Day, to make New Jersey and the entire nation proud. In Jackson, New Jersey, Ken Rosano, Channel 7. Some high school musicians on a high note, anticipating the experience of a lifetime. Coming up next on Eyewitness News, one high school marching band is practicing for a parade the entire world will be watching. Some local high school musicians are spending this weekend getting ready for the performance of their lives. They will be playing beautiful music for the President of the United States during his inauguration. Eyewitness News reporter Ken Rosado has the story from Jackson, New Jersey. They're more than a little excited for the upcoming big day. What big day, you ask? The biggest challenge for us is to get through all the security. It's even better than it was when I was here, and it was excellent back then. The Jackson Memorial High School Marching Band is the only marching band in the state of New Jersey, and one of only seven in the entire nation that will be performing at this Thursday's presidential inauguration. I know, I was like, whoa, president, okay, that's good. So the 175-member band has been practicing to get down every note. Even the sousaphone sounded fantastic. What a sousaphone! It's a tuba! Becoming part of a band this good is tough, unless you know the right people. Mr. McCormick, um, it's my understanding that Mr. Rosado here would like to be a part of the band. Is there any way you can work that out? Definitely. we got a pair of cymbals that he can cra crash. So what's the technique here? Am I holding this wrong? I can't believe I've learned. While the band practiced, parents gathered in the music room to spray paint hats and to repair outfits so the marchers looked magnificent as they meander past the prez. Wow. <laughs> Playing for the president, you know, it's not every day you get to play for the president of the United States. Next up, to Washington, D.C., they'll head this Thursday, January 20th, Inauguration Day to make New Jersey and the entire nation proud. In Jackson, New Jersey, Ken Rosano, Channel 7, Eyewitness News. Rounding off at President Bush's second inauguration on Thursday. The marching band from Jackson Memorial High School will be performing in the parade. As Zachary Fink reports, the Jackson band has been on national television before, but has never performed for the president. 
187 students make up the Jackson Memorial High School Band. Later this week, they will be making the trip to Washington, D.C. to celebrate the 55th presidential inaugural. It's really thrilling because you get to perform in front of all these people and, you know, it's just like you're representing your town. And it's a big honor to do that since, you know, there's so many people that get to watch you on TV, like when we did the St. Patrick's Day Parade. It's just, you know, a really great honor and so fun to do. You represented the state of New Jersey. Let's go. Harold Bud McCormick is the band's director. He's been holding mandatory practice sessions to gear the students up for what could be their biggest assignment to date. We applied for the inaugural parade in September. We sent an audio tape, a videotape, an application, a resume, um, about five or six different things. And on December 16th, we were notified by the presidential inaugural committee that we were accepted. I always encourage all of my coaches, my advisors, to if they think that, that there's something that they can kind of showcase out in the community, because there's so many amazing things that go on in this school on a daily basis, you know, go for it. According to McCormick, the Jackson Band was selected from among 350 applicants across the country. Out of the more than 50 bands that will be performing, only seven are high schoolers. The Jackson Memorial High School Band has been in the spotlight before. In fact, they've been featured on NJN News no less than three times. In 1999, when they played at Yankee Stadium for Game 4 of the World Series. In 2003, when they played at the Meadowlands for the AFC Wild Card Game between the Jets and the Colts. And most recently, in 2004, when they played in New York City at the St. Patrick's Day Parade. We're very lucky. We've been selected to many events. Three ticker tape parades, seven World Series games. Uh, NFL football playoff games. Um, we opened for 42nd Street, the musical on Broadway a couple years ago, and the music man. But students say a presidential inauguration is different. Somehow, the stakes seem higher. That, I think, is a little different because we're performing for the president, which is, like, really something very big for us. You know, we've never really done anything like this before, so uh, we're going to enjoy it. President Bush's inaugural will take place this Thursday. Spending for the festivities is expected to break the record, which was set by his first inaugural committee in 2001. Zachary Fink, NJN News, Jackson Township.